Hello students, today we are going to discuss about electric motor. In this uh, video, we are going to cover uh, construction and working of electric motor. Uh, electric motor function is to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. It's really very important topic because frequently it is asked in exams. Uh, it has variety of uses. Like in houses, we use it in vacuum cleaners. It is uh, used in cars as the windshield wipers. Uh, it is In industries, it is used in conveyor belts. Now let us start with the construction of electric motor. Electric motor has an armature which is rectangular in shape. Armature is a soft iron core covered with a copper wiring. It has a source called battery. The direction of current is from positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. As you can see here, the direction of current is from positive. It's entering here and then it enters the brush B1. Brush is a hairy structure which keeps touching the solid thing which comes near it. Here the solid thing is split ring. We call it as split ring because the ring is not complete. We have two such rings C1 and C2. From brush B1 the current enters the ring C1. Through this it enters the shaft Shaft is a rod like structure which keeps rotating. Through the shaft it enters the armature. All the way it goes like this. And then enters the ring C2. From C2 it enters B2. Then from here the current enters into the negative terminal. So in this way the circuit is complete. So with this we completed the top, uh, construction of electric motor. Now let's see the working of electric motor or the principle of electric motor. To know the, to understand the working of electric motor, you should be aware of Fleming's left hand rule. According to this rule, you have to stretch your left hand in such a way that the forefinger, middle finger and the thumb all should be perpendicular to each other. The forefinger gives you the direction of magnetic field. Magnetic field is denoted with the letter B. The middle finger gives you the direction of current. The current is denoted with the letter I. And thumb gives you the direction of magnetic force that is F. So in short, you can remember as FBI. Magnetic force, direction of magnetic field and the current. When you apply this rule to the electric motor, you can see here, I am considering this arm AB and applying this rule. This is the direction of magnetic field from north to south pole. Current direction you can see it's going upwards. So I just turn my hand like this to show you the direction of current which is going upwards. And thumb, thumb is going into the board. So the magnetic force is pushing this arm AB into the board. So just I'm writing here push. The same rule, if I apply to this arm, CD, the direction of magnetic field is same. It will never change. That is from north to south. And this time, the current direction is downwards. You can see the arrow coming down. So I will just turn my hand. So this is the direction of current, direction of magnetic field. And thumb is pointing outwards, outside the board. So the force is pushing the arm CD outside the board. So here outwards. If you consider this as an armature. So AB you can see it's pointing towards me. And CD is to the other side. Magnetic force on AB is pushing the armature inside. From other side, the CD is getting pushed outwards. So one side, the force is pushing the arm inside. And from the other side, the force is pushing the armature outside. So because of this, the armature completed one-fourth of its rotation. Once the armature is in this position, it doesn't experience any magnetic force. Because the ring... C1 and C2 
are not in contact with the brushes but still the seed uh, the coil turns and completes the remaining one fourth uh, rotation why the reason is inertia of motion according to this law a body in motion continue to remain in motion so this armature when it was like this it ex it has experienced magnetic force and completed one fourth rotation so the body has attained mo motion body is in motion it wants to remain in motion according to the inertia of motion now you can see that cd is facing towards me in the previous case ab was facing me and cd was to the other side now cd is facing me and ab is to the other side cd the ring attached to cd is c2 when cd is towards me c2 attaches to the brush b1 and you know the direction of current in b1 is in upward direction so the same current will enter the ring c2 because now c2 is here same c current c enters the ring c2 and it will continue in the upward direction so this time the current in cd is in upward direction but in previous case it was in downward direction now once the current is acting in the upward direction you know very well that uh, according to fleming's left hand rule it pushes the armature inside and the other side it gets pushed outwards so half of the rotation one fourth of the rotation is due to the magnetic force and the remaining one fourth is due to the inertia of motion again the same thing one fourth is due to the magnetic force and the remaining is due to the inertia of motion so in this way the armature continues to rotate in the same direction so this rotation of the armature in the same direction is what we call as principle of electric motor i hope you understood this by this we end our topic